Hey, welcome to Feed Up 215. Um, today we're going to do an unboxing of the 2018 Nike Vapor Max. Um, if you're, you know, frequent to the Nike.com site, um, the Vapor Max went on a pretty steep sale. I'm assuming they're trying to get rid of inventory and preparing, you know, for that release of the 2019 model. Um, I, I wanted to get the 2018, but uh, 190 bucks for a pair of Air Max is kind of out of my price range. But between them dropping the price and then also the 20% off sale they had, I got them for around 110, 120 bucks. Well, here you go. You know, I expected the burnt orange kind of box, but the white box was definitely a, a pleasant surprise. So I actually bought a couple of models of this um, color of these the colorway for the 2018s. But um, here I'm just going to show you know the pink. I know it's kind of different, kind of bold, you know, F cancer and, and all that good stuff. But um, you know, I, I said hey, why not? So as you see, it's a very prominent bubble. I'm pretty sure you've seen already seen you know releases on this model but prominent bubble on on the air max one of the boldest bubbles you know ever in the air max series um between you know the 270 that came out and uh you know now with the with the vapor max you know we've seen them use that bubble and you know when the uh, redo the the air max 90 96s um so they really went kind of full bore with the prominent bubble so here I'm trying to show that hey, the full upper is like a, is a full sock, a full fly knit sock. So the tongue and the, you know, the upper is all one piece. So it really lends to when you put on your foot to have that, you know, that sock like, you know, you know, that sock like feeling where it wraps around your foot. You know, as you see, there's bending knees to show the flex, uh, flexibility. I always like the fly lit material because I don't have to worry about creasing um, when I go to clean them. If I want to throw them in the washing machine, you know, it, I don't have that issue. I, so that's why I always enjoy the fly knit materials or like, you know, the, the like the Prestos because they're very easy to clean. And a very con convenient shoe, you know, where you just want to, you know, throw on some sweatpants and go go about your business. So here you go, full silhouette, um, Nike uh, Air uh, Vapor Max. And I'm going to do some, you know, on the feet comparisons. So here you go. And you see from the front that bubble is just so prominent. So uh, you really definitely got to be ready to pull it off. But the silhouette right there is excellent. I like my running shoe or shoes that I work out in to hug my foot and have that, you know, a good silhouette. Here you go from the rear prominent air bubble. Um, I actually did run in these. I ran three miles in these and, you know, first wear is going to feel different. That prominent air bubble, you are going to feel it. Um, definitely around the outer edges of the shoe, you're going to feel the, 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 uh, the rise or the indentation of those bubbles in the middle of your foot. So the initial feel of these are very, uh, very snug. Not snug to the point of uncomfortable, but snug, um, a, a real sock-like feel. So um, if that's what your preference is, you will really feel, you know, gripped into these shoes, especially if you're gonna use them for running or any physical activities. Uh, if you're just gonna walk, use them as a walking shoe, um, guess that really doesn't matter. <laughs> but that's why I want to really show the silhouette because it has a, I, I love the silhouette on, on these um, model shoes. All right, here's a look from above. They see uh, pink, pink tips on the laces, pink accents within the fly net, and the prominent um, pink air bubble. Um, took them for a run upstairs. I've seen a couple of reviews where, you know, they said there was getting a lot of squeaking with these. So far, I have not experienced that. Um, as you can hear, you know, I don't hear any squeaking. I already took them off for a run. Maybe it's on certain, certain type floors. So I have wooden floors and I haven't experienced anything. So 